Alright guys, we're actually down at Stabel. Uh We had a drive past Ramsgate and stuff, there wasn't much happening. So we went over to Hibernian, had a look there, and then we decided to come down to Stabel. We saw some birds in the back, and it looked like they were feeding on something. So it is a bait show, you can't confirm what it is, if it's sars, red eye or mackerel. But there is activity, so I'm busy throwing a plug. And uh, there was a snook that was landed on Stabel Point, very nice snook, and a small key. Nathan actually caught the key. Chases are still here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock this again. I'm throwing with a battalion 15 foot, and a spin feature 65. So I'm using the 15 foot for extra distance, but the shoulder is quite far. Darkness falls and we all pray Hoping for the light of day Down to the river I have held, felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river Down to the river
Yeah. 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 I've been here, George got like I think about four or five already. I was watching TV until he gave me some of his fish <laughs> and I had the pole. So yeah, nice fish. He's gonna get the hooks out and then we're gonna release it. Alright guys, yeah, we stopped spinning because the fishing just went quiet. All the game fish that was feeding in the back was quite deep. So we decided to start fishing for some grey sharks. We saw the guys getting them on the point. And a few had been landed and stuff, so I came through. I put out a mackerel, waiting really patiently for a bite. So hopefully I can go fast now. Time will tell. You know, with the sardines on, uh, anything can happen. Especially now that the sards are moving. Well, it's not really confirmed yet. Guys don't know if it's actually sards or mackerel or red eye that's moving, but the water's still a bit dirty for us to see, but there is fish around. So before the sardine down sards, it's nice to fish for the small fish, small greys, edibles. Let's have some fun. To the rocks and you run out of bait so we had some fun i'm fish were caught this morning a couple of uh, little kingies and a nice snook maybe tomorrow morning but that's i hope that's they won't shoot me down
Pluto or something. But this little baby hammer picked us up. Put it back. Baby. <laughs> and that's what a privilege we have to be on the beaches or on the bricks fishing it's such awesome days like today and Good friends, you see the amount of angles on the rocks here. It's awesome. Oh, there's some fish coming. What are they throwing at? Spinning for something. Snook. Could be snook. But this morning already a few small kingies, some shad. The guys got on spinning and then the guys casting got some great sharks. I believe one diamond. Um, and a hammer. George got now. George cleaned up here yesterday. Caught all the fish. I was surprised there's more fish here today. <laughs> so, <laughs> quite keen to join with that. So I think also anglers are here because of that. Because um, the fishing's been tough, especially on the non ed side. And George just mentioned they did see a big nunus, big shark yesterday at about 100 meters, you said, George. Yeah. So, jump out of the water. But still, it's nice ticking over some grey sharks, some bites, but uh, keeps sharks busy. You're on the south coast, you can go dead, like from an angler to a tennis player in a few months sometimes. But yeah, exciting. Let's put a bait out and see if we can get something.
this with Australian Mini for a possible edible. We'll see. Guys, we're just before low, there's a lot of peckers in the water, so we'll just let the tide push a bit. Putting a little bronze beam trace on, I'm gonna have a few throws here with a turn of the tide. Let's actually go do it there, that side. That spot's better there if the tide turns. Thank you. Thank you, Be quite walked out, a bit out of practice, but uh, yeah, what a nice spot. Good spot. 